are ready for a quiz. You take the extra time to recycle, right? You think you're doing the right thing and you might still be doing it wrong. Recycling the right items can be kind of tricky business. So this morning we're putting our knowledge to the test with a little quiz. Joining us in the studio, Katie Stelzner, a solid waste specialist with the city of St. Louis Park. Welcome. Okay, thank Thanks. you. Yes. Thanks so for being we're here. Be, we've got uh, some questions to answer and hopefully we'll all get them right and what happens if we don't? We learned uh, something. Yeah. <laughs> Shocks, no. Yeah. So you have yes. six items here on the table. Yes. And w what we understand, which we have been told, that three of them can be recycled, three not. That is correct. So yes. we're starting over here. Yes. So. so what do we think, ladies? And and do we can vote. kind of. Um, oh yeah, okay. pass it around. Feel so, it. Okay. Don't look at the bottom though. That's what okay. It says it, right? All right. So. <laughs> I'm going to go I'm gonna with say yes. yes. I'm going to go with yes. As that well. is correct. Yes. Okay. Cartons, yes. Um, milk cartons, uh, vanilla coffee cartons mm -hmm. like this can all go in your recycling cart. The big thing you want to remember when you're recycling this kind of thing, though, is that it's clean and dry, and you can leave the caps on. Actually, that, that was going to be, be my question. Yeah, yeah, that will actually be sorted out in the recycling process. So great job. You got okay. the first one right. <laughs> one for one. Yes. Butter. Next up. Okay. Yes. So this is um, what would be standard mail. You know, yes. the typical and and this. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, so yeah, I'm just a little, little. Um, so educational. Okay. Are yes. we all? You want to feel it first I before you decide? I recycle my mail all the time. Mm -hmm. so. uh, I hope it's yes because yeah. I do too. Yes. Say yes. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. Yes. This is also correct. The one thing I want to point out on this one that confuses people sometimes is these little plastic mm -hmm. um, mail holders here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, despite this, you st still can put it in recycling. Again, when it goes through the recycling process, this plastic will be taken out. So you can put it all in your cart just like this. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, moving on, we have a plastic plate or paper, uh, not a, a paper plate, paper, I guess. Yeah. And this, um, you want to feel well, it? I know I mean, we, we all have know what this is. We three and three, so I feel like it's going to be a no, but I feel like I recycle those. I'm going to say no because of the, the sheen that's on, on the, uh, uh, that the plate. Sounds, that sounds good, Alex. <laughs> I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with that. All right. So you are correct that it is not recyclable, but huh. it's not actually due to the sheen. It's because when you're using paper plate, there's lots of food residue on it. Oh, so when you okay. put this in your recycling bin, they um, actually pulp the paper down and the recyclers don't want to deal with that food residue because it'll contaminate the product. So this belongs in the trash. What if you were to, I mean, not that I, I don't think people <laughs> would really do this, but if you were to wipe down, could, could it then be recycled? So even then, then we get into the sheen aspect okay. of it. So okay. then we still don't want these in the recycling card, unfortunately. Okay. All right. But Good yeah. to know. Yeah. All right. Next up here, yes. aluminum. Right. One hundred percent. Yes. I think yes. 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 We're all on board. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Although yes. this, if it's been had food in it, that might make things complicated. Oh, you're catching on. Oh. <laughs> so, yes. Okay. That is right. So the aluminum is actually an infinitely recyclable material. But when we're talking about aluminum, one thing you want to keep in mind here sorry, is um, that when it's in a foil, like a sheet that you would use to wrap something in aluminum, you want to make sure you roll it into a ball. Oh, um, yeah. And we want to make sure it's about the size of your fist because otherwise it will fall through the sorting equipment and won't actually get recycled. And then yes, as we talked about with the plates as well, we want to make sure it's clean and dry. Um, do, and, do you yeah. find that, you know, I think people, most people try, want yes. to do, you know, oh, let's recycle. Do you think that we like, do we get it right or do we often get these wrong? What well, do you think? So there is something that we talk about in our industry called wish cycling, where people want to recycle more than is actually recyclable. Uh -huh, okay. And so that's when we um, tell people when you're when in doubt, throw it out. We want you to follow the guide that you get either from your recycling hauler or from your city or county. Um, and if you can't figure it out based upon that guide, just throw it in the trash. But hmm. yeah, I know people try to do the right thing. Yeah, so that's right? Great. right. Trying to be good. Okay, so. A chip bag, popcorn yes. bag. Yes. I. Well, what are we? What are we at? We're. <laughs> I'm gonna say. I'm gonna do the math. I'm gonna say no. Is it because of the residue I'm gonna inside? Say no. Yes, that is unrecyclable, unfortunately, and it's actually because those materials are often made of different types of material, right? So you've got plastic in there, sometimes paper, and it's just really hard for the recycling facilities to sort those different those different materials out to then be sent off to make new products. Okay. So that goes in the trash. That's yeah. too bad because yeah. like mm -hmm. it's a big. Feels like yeah. Yes, right? you feel like you should be able to do that. Okay. And then, yellow. well, if we've been doing the the counting here, I'm gonna say no. Process of elimination helps. <laughs> <laughs> but it's plastic. What's wrong with this plastic? Yeah, so this one's actually kind of tricky. Um, w essentially, with these plastic bags, we don't want them in your curbside cart at home, but you can bring them to places where you actually got those bags in the first place. So retailers sure. like grocery stores, Target, Walmart, they'll accept those bags and take them back and send them to a facility that can actually process that material. When you put them in your curbside cart, what happens is they get sent to the sorting facility and get caught up in the equipment. So oh. people literally have to shut down the whole sorting line and pull them out by hand. 
hand, which oh. is not an efficient system and it loses them a lot of money in the end. So a quick question about, yes. for instance, um, soda pop bottles, because uh, yeah. we know sometimes take, we have to take off the cover, as you know, the top. Yeah. Just a regular, like you know, a soda or you know, fruit juice. Yeah. What what as far as those plastic bottles? You can leave the caps on in that case too. I think we're talking about like the plastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those plastic pop bottles. You can keep the leave the caps on there too. Again, like with the cartons, they'll sort that out in the recycling process. And when so. you say clean it out, you can just yes. rinse it. Rinse it. Yeah, okay. you don't have to like, like run it through your clean? dishwasher or anything like <laughs> okay. that. Um, I've seen my dad do that, and I tell him <laughs> this is not necessary. <laughs> but yeah, it's just try to clean it out as much as you can. So yeah. You mentioned the that whole you know, when in doubt, throw it out. Mm -hmm. Is that just because if we get it wrong, it, it backs up the whole process and can maybe essentially eliminate things that were set to be recycled? So it's not so much that the other stuff in it won't get recycled, but it just contaminates the process. It makes it go longer for them. It's harder for them to sort and can sometimes send off the recyclable or contaminate the recyclables they're sending off to the secondary mm. processor. So. Sure. Okay, yeah. good information. Yes. Uh, yeah, we've had some learning moments here. Katie Stelzner, yes. thank you so much for joining us. Of course. From the city of St. Louis Park, now we know more about recycling. Yeah. All right, well, thank you all so much. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah.